One of the biggest problems in the entertainment industry is that the people that are writing these things, whether it's TV shows or movies or comic books, especially we've seen the fall of comic books over the last decade or so. The problem is that so many of these writers, they don't actually want to tell a good story. They just want to see themselves in these characters. They want to tell their story effectively. And it seems like over and over and over again, the activists that are in the entertainment industry and that are writing comic books are just open about that. They're open about the fact that everything in entertainment they have to see through their sexuality or whatever it may be. I thought this was interesting. Max von Priestley over here saying superheroes are a very queer kind of story. Most superheroes are in the closet. Jadzia Axelrod, trans writer for DC's Hot Girl series, is asked about the meaning of gender and identity in superhero comics. This may be the most odd view of superheroes in comics I've ever heard. When you listen to this, and she, her, pops right up there in the video, this certainly would explain a lot, wouldn't it, about why we get some of the dog shit we get out of the comic book industry this day and age? Superheroes are a very queer kind of story, and that the, you have these characters who have these double lives, and one life is much more colorful and dynamic and exciting, but they also have to keep on this normal life. Most superheroes are in the closet. Um, either literally in some yeah. cases or in a more metaphorical way of like, I have to keep my secret identity. That's important. Um, and so it's very relatable stuff to a queer reader, very relatable stuff to a trans reader. And even these characters, their secret identities, that's it. The fact that they have a secret identity, that means that it's very much inherently a queer story because guess what? We, we sometimes feel like we need to hide that part of ourselves. Oh, I feel like I have an identity crisis. I feel like I sometimes don't know who I am. So that means it's a queer story. That means it's a gay story. That's why they have no problem making so many of these characters gay because this is how they view this shit. They think that a secret identity inherently makes something relatable to queer people. They have to view it through their fucking lens. Bodies are frequently mutable in, in superhero comics, which is something I love. So like all of this stuff was already in there when I read them whether mm -hmm. it was intended or not. So to tell a story where all of this stuff is not just subtext, but literally what's going on. Yeah, whether it was intended or not, guess what? it wasn't. It was never intended. It's a story that's supposed to appeal to everybody, but it has to be viewed through this inherently queer lens by so many of these fucking activists. This is not just solely in comic books, in the comic book industry. These people exist in the She-Hulk writing room. These people exist in the Rings of Power writing room. These people are all over Hollywood, these ideologues, these activists who just can't help themselves but have to see themselves and everything and view every single fucking choice through this queer lens, through whatever, whether it's racial, whatever it may be. That's what the modern day writing industry has been all about. Right now, a lot of these people are out there picketing and striking for more money from Hollywood as they're part of the problem that's been the downfall of the entertainment industry. But when you hear things like this, you just can't help but laugh at the clear explanation as to why the comic book industry and so much of entertainment is the way that it is.